Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaw Snow Prep Talk. Today, I want to talk about progress on the new engine combinations that will be ran by some racers on No Prep King Season Seven. Now, photo girls, rec leads here, photo owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming, all about the Street Outlaw Snow Prep King race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, we've already talked about in a couple of other videos of the engine combination swap of David Gates coming from Nitrous to a screw-blown Noonan 4.9 Hemi. And this is the first picture of the engine combo completely installed on the Showstopper Camaro, which is now called the Red Rum Camaro, I think. But it was previously Kai Kelly's Showstopper Camaro that actually came out in 2020. So it looks really cool. It's basically the same blower hat, I believe, an exact same blower and engine combo that Kai Kelly has. If it's not exact, it's very similar, but I'm pretty sure they're running very similar combinations because that enables the same tuner, which will be tuning both cars to have data from two different cars with the same engine combination. So I'm sure David Gates will do really good this year with a screw blown combo. Now, Scott Taylor, which has been a bit of a controversial swap for his old car. He went from Pro Charger to Turbos, but the new car will be Pro Charger. Well, the twin turbo setup is either done or really close to being done. As you may see, all the piping is done, cold side and hot side, exhaust, everything, and the turbos are mounted. Now, these are HPT turbochargers, I believe 88s. I may be wrong on that, but I would run 88s. I think 98s or anything bigger, they need to weigh more. So with turbos, I think getting lighter could be more of a benefit than actually going with bigger turbos. So Scott Taylor's swap is a bit controversial. I don't agree on it, but his new car is Pro Charger, so he wanted to try something different. But people don't really understand that running... A twin turbo pro mod on a prep track will enable them to actually run all the boost out the back. That's why you see Todd Moyer's car go 227 out the back and even Mark Mickey's car going 216, 217 because it's a prep track. NPK, even though the starting line of the first 330 get really, really good, the further 330, the last part of the 60, 660, doesn't get that good. And with turbos, you really need that second half of the track to be really good in order for the car to stick and they can put all the power out the back. But that's just not the case. So I'm skeptical, but maybe Scott Taylor will actually prove me wrong. But it's not the same running a Pro Mod race, which is a fully prepped track, then running an NPK event. So that's why I think turbos struggle nowadays, especially at the lighter weights at NPK. When Ryan ran at 3,050 pounds, it was a heavy car. Now they're running a lot lighter. 